Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Xbox console to an M.2 SSD drive. I'm gonna use Xbox One X as an example, but the same idea can be applied to all Xbox and PlayStation consoles, or even laptops. You just need to figure out how to disassemble your device and install an operating system. And of course it really makes a huge difference in terms of performance. The reason I want to focus on M.2 SSDs is because nowadays they're much more common than 2.5-inch SSDs. Most of new laptops come with M.2 drives, even desktop motherboards have M.2 slots. So why invest in obsolete form factor when in the future you can put this M.2 drive into almost any laptop or USB enclosure? But anyways, it's up to you. So first of all, you have to disassemble your device. Let's go ahead and start by removing these two screws. Then slide the cover forward and lift it up like so. Next we need to remove these 12 screws. Carefully lift the bracket attached to the cable and then disconnect the cable from the RF board. Lift the locking bar up and slide out the ribbon cable from its connector. Flip the Xbox over and remove the cover and two remaining screws. And now you can remove the metal case. Next I'm gonna flip the optical drive up and here's our hard drive. Simply disconnect the power and SATA cable from the motherboard and remove the hard drive. Finally remove the bracket by unscrewing four screws and disconnect the cable. As you can see, it's a regular 2.5-inch hard drive, which you can replace with any 2.5-inch or M.2 SATA SSD. There are two types of M.2 drives, NVMe or PCI Express with M key and NGFF or SATA with B or B plus M keys. So obviously we need a SATA SSD because our hard drive has SATA interface. And finally we need a SATA to M.2 adapter or enclosure. You can buy a cheap plastic one for 5 bucks or a fancy aluminum one for 10 dollars. They both work perfectly well and do what have to. I'll put all the links in the description below. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this 1TB SSD drive into this enclosure. As you can see this adapter allows you to connect M.2 SSDs which come in 4 different sizes. I'm gonna use 22 by 80 mm but you can use any size you've got available. Next insert your SSD drive at an angle into the slot, then attach this little brass guy and screw it down. I want to point out that this adapter doesn't convert any data, which means your SSD works at full speed. And these components over here is just a voltage regulator that powers connected SSD. Finally, put the cover back in place and screw it down. So, let's go ahead and install the SSD into the console. By the way, if you have a bunch of games on your hard drive, then you can just clone it to the SSD. You can use a docking station or USB to SATA adapter. And you can also connect them to your desktop computer and clone using some free software. I have a video on that, I'll put the link at the end of this video. So now connect the SATA cable, attach the bracket and screw it to the SSD. Put the SSD into place and line up the holes to screw it securely into place.
Finally, put the rest of the parts back together. Ok, so if you manage to clone your hard drive, then your job is done and you can enjoy your video games, otherwise you have to download and install Xbox operating system. Open the Xbox support page, the link in the description, and simply follow these very simple instructions. It's a little bit more complicated for Xbox One, because you have to download and install two update files, but for all other Xbox One consoles it's pretty straightforward process. Next, you have to download System Update OS U1. It's a 5GB file, so you'll need minimum 8GB USB drive, which you have to format into NTFS file system. Then go to your Downloads and extract files from the archive. Open OSU1 folder and copy system update folder to the root directory of your flash drive. Now turn on your console and using the D-pad and A button select troubleshoot. Then plug the flash drive into the USB port. And as you can see, the offline system update option became active. Select it and press the A button. This process will take you about 10 minutes. And that's it. Just follow the on-screen instructions to finish setting up your device. Select your language, location, your network, and sign in with your Microsoft account. And you've just upgraded your Xbox to an SSD drive. As you can see, the whole process is pretty simple, and if you use the same capacity drive, there's no need to use any scripts or software to partition your new SSD. So, I hope it was helpful, thank you for watching.